today's project kind of uh, spiraled out of hand a little bit. All I was gonna do today was take out the fuel pump, the fuel accumulator, and the fuel filter on the Ferrari just to get it all ready, strip down, order the parts so I could swap it all out. But it has turned into redoing the paint on the windshield wipers, touching up some paint spots near the uh, vent windows, and then removing the entire instrument cluster from the car. I gotta give it to Ferrari. They made removing this fuel pump and accumulator and filter probably the most simple project I've done on a vehicle. This is definitely the easiest fuel pump to ever remove on any vehicle that I've worked on so far. Uh, both these things were bolted to this bracket and I just basically unhooked the lines and removed the bracket with those still on it. And that was it. I mean, there's plenty of room underneath the car to do that. And then I went ahead and painted the bracket. Yeah, it's red, it's supposed to be black, but whatever, my car, I don't care. Uh, and I got these parts on order, so hopefully they'll be here by tomorrow and Monday. Then while I was at it, I decided to do the LED upgrade uh, in my instrument cluster. So to do that, pull the steering wheel, remove the instrument cluster. Uh, there's just four screws. And then I undid all the wires and voila, there it is sitting on the bench. So let me show you where this bracket uh, is mounted in this car. It's really easy to get to. It's right up underneath, right behind the driver's seat, right up in this area here. That bracket bolts right on top of this right here. There's one, two, and there's the third bolt right there. And the fuel pump and the accumulator sit in that bracket right on top. Uh, my fuel line is right back over here. It's just pinched off right now, but it's right on the side of the left-hand tank on the driver's side. You don't even have to pull any of the inner fender wells or any of that stuff. I just jacked up the back of the car. I've got it sitting on some blocks here for safety. Give me a little room. And then, um, then I went to town. The fuel filter in this car is actually really easy to get to as well. It's um, towards the front of the motor here, like basically right behind the driver's seat. The biggest problem I had with this was the nut on top for the fuel line was just stuck. So I soaked it with some PB blaster for a little bit and then I was finally able to break that thing loose. But it's, I mean, everything's accessible so far. So they made it really easy. So good job, Ferrari. Uh, way to think ahead. That fuel filter sits right there. There's the line, there's the mount for the bracket sitting just below it there. I actually, I started getting it from the top, then I was able to actually reach both arms up through the bottom and break that nut free with two wrenches and then just slide the whole thing down. There's tons of room under there to get this thing out. Just a quick little reminder, you probably already know this, but if you're gonna be working on your fuel system, just disconnect the battery. It takes two seconds. Just put the cable off to the side, keep yourself safe. Some of the, some of the other little touch-up stuff I was just kind of getting into. I had some little scrapes and stuff along this pillar piece right here, and I just took a very fine little uh, brush dipped it in some black paint and just touched up the very small areas. And then uh, I pulled both wiper arms off and just resprayed those. They were just chipped and everything all through here and all up the, the arm there. So when you walk up to the car now, your eye is not drawn to like little scuffs and scrapes and chips that were along these uh, areas right here. And then got the windshield wiper arms painted again. Again, just being really nitpicky with it and simple little projects that don't take much time at all. But to me, they make a big difference. Yeah, it's a pain driving this car home at night and not being able to see any of the gauges. I guess that's the price you pay having an older exotic car. Hopefully we'll remedy that problem very soon. All right.
I'm going to show you guys the uh, dash lighting up with the new LEDs. All right, here is the instrument cluster with the new LEDs. It's so much brighter than it used to be. I mean, I could not see a thing driving home in the dark. And now, I mean, that's perfect right there. This is a project I've kind of been putting off. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do it, but my little coolant tank reservoir has all these little pinholes and I'm just tired of JB Weld in it. So I bought a new one. This is from Superformance UK. It's a direct replacement, so they say, for the old one here. And that one is actually made out of aluminum. So I've got this one out. Um, it's over here on the floor. You can kind of see it's pretty janky. I had to JB Weld quite a bit on the top there. I have no idea what's going on the bottom yet, but I'll know here in just a minute when I finish getting the coolant out and flip that thing over. So that's what we're swapping out today. Here she is. I just finished dumping out what was left inside and you can kind of see a little bit in there. It's, it's pretty gross. Um, definitely not reusing the fluid that came out of this, that's for sure. But let's flip this thing over. I'm gonna pull this sensor off right here, see if I can't get that to mate up with the new one. This one I don't need because this one doesn't even have the fitting for that. You can see it just has this one single fitting. Just pops off 19 millimeter and it is exactly the same size so it'll go right onto the new tank. And here's what the old tank looked like. You know, overall, I guess for a 38 year old car, I mean, it's not terrible it could have been a whole lot worse but you know now that i'm looking at it i'm glad that i decided to swap this out because like i said in other videos and stuff i plan on driving this car as much as possible so i don't want any issues down the road and here's an unexpected surprise this new tank actually came with a new cap i thought i was going to have to order one for it but kudos to you superformance uk thank you for including that. And with any project that car guys work on, you normally come across something you weren't intending on doing, but while you're there, might as well do it. So this is the bracket that was holding one of my side little uh, air radiators on that's just below this tank. And what happened was this piece, which is attached to the rubber, broke off. So this thing was, the radiator was just kind of flapping, not even connected. So what I'm going to do is I have removed the actual rubber piece because it's all one piece that goes and screws through here. Uh, and I'm just gonna drill a small hole through this and just put two new bolts and should be good as new. I don't need to track down these original ones. It doesn't matter, this is just a, a dampener. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this other one cut off and I'll clean up this bracket, repaint it. Should be good as new. I actually ended up using a shorter bolt right here just because of the way it was gonna almost hit the bolt for the bracket. That's the only thing I swapped out. So now it's in there, you know, nice and tight with the rubber bushing the way it should be. Cleaned up uh, the bolts that are gonna be used for the tank here. Just one of those things I learned as a kid to just take a couple extra minutes, clean up your hardware, and it makes a big difference. What do they say, the uh, devil's in the details? One of the other things that used to hold me up when I was working on projects, and it may hold you guys up too here and there, is not having the right hardware. So when I was swapping this stuff out, luckily back in my jet ski days, I have a lot of stainless hardware that I kept off of random skis. Having all that hardware kind of pays off. Uh, I'm glad I kept it over the years. You can kind of see. I've got bins and bins full of hardware to pillage from, and it saves me a a trip or two down to the auto parts store. So 
So keep your old nuts and bolts if you can. Throw them in bins. You never know when you're gonna use them again. Well, there it is. That is the finished product with the new tank installed. Looks pretty good. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or if I wanted one that was gonna be black like the original, but once I get some of the other stuff cleaned up and get the intake powder coated. Well, that wraps up uh, those three projects on the Ferrari. So I got the LEDs in the instrument cluster, got the fuel pump and fuel filter installed, and now I've got the coolant tank swapped out. So it's time to get this thing back on the road. Everybody's quarantined, whatever. If it's decent weather this weekend, I'm definitely getting this car out and running this thing. I'm tired of being locked up in the house. I think the next project is gonna be doing the top of the intake manifold. I'm gonna powder coat it. I've got a buddy that's able to do it from home. Uh, he's already ordered the right powder for me. So it's black, it's supposed to be black, but I'm gonna do it in red, I think. I think that'd be a, a cool look underneath the hood back there. Since a lot of that stuff is black anyway, I don't wanna go back with black because it just gets lost. And I think if I do it with the red and then just uh, have the top of the little fins and stuff and that silver and the Ferrari and the, and the silver, I think it'll look really good. So I'll do a video on that when it comes time. But for now, it's time to get this thing back on the road and just uh, enjoy it some more. I've had a blast with it so far. I love this car so much. I wish the weather would let up. With all these people quarantined, the roads are open, so it's a perfect time for me to get out and have some fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay hungry, stay foolish.